Just so that way we all on the same page. We walked on this crosswalk for a month on Friday. Saturday mornings, the city was just fine the next morning. All right, the people that came over here, that the sirens was bothering and the music was bothering, all of them woke up on Saturday morning just fine. Their kids woke up just fine. Uh, I want to give some backstory on the reason that we're protesting that city market and uh, some, some of the reasons that we're using some of the tactics that we're using in city market. When we went to city market uh, initially, about two Fridays ago now, uh, we went out with a speaker, uh, just me and one other person. We were speaking out there, no sirens, no music or anything. We were just trying to get a uh, message across and inform people about some of the things that took place on May 30th. We got two police officers out here. For what? For what? For what? Yeah, we're going to talk about it for However, while we were out there, we had two security guards who I believe were off-duty officers who came who came forward and cornered us. Uh, one of the pe one of the people I was out there with was pushed by one uh, off-duty off-duty cop security guard. The same uh, off-duty cop and security guard came and put his hands on me to try to get my attention to try to get us to uh, stop being out there speaking. He turned the, st the uh, stereo that we were using off a few times. You have already told me, what's your, what's your name, sir? You just put your my hands name, on me? My name's Did you just put your hands on me, yes or no? I can touch you on the Okay, show. do you have the right to touch me, yes or no, sir? It is, it within your, is it within your job description? Do you have the right to put your hands on me? Yeah. Yeah, you do? Okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna make sure it's on camera. He has his right, so he has the right to put his hands on me. Eventually he went and he got the woman who was uh, in charge of city market who had the permit or whatever. Me and her spoke. Can I get the reason why I'm being converged on right now? I just want to make sure that this is this is on live. This is being filmed. Everyone will see this. So what is the reason I'm being converged on right now? I would like to talk to you. Yes. I, I would have when when they when they back up away from me and when I'm explaining to why he can put his hands on me when I'm to, but he already did. So I'm trying to figure out does he have the right to put his hands on me? That's out, because I asked him the same thing. What was the right or what policy he had that said he could put his hands up? Yeah. Okay, that's it. You can talk. You can talk. In me and her speaking, one of the first things that she spoke to me about was money. That was the main thing that was in importance to her, talking about how the city needs to make, needs to try to make as much money from city market as possible, how the vendors there need to try to make as much money as possible because of what's been going on with COVID-19. That was the way that things were handled. I told her that we would be returning back the next week and that we would be returning back with more people. When we came back the following Friday, which was last Friday, no, which was, that's two Fridays, excuse me, two Fridays ago, uh, a security guard handed us a map, told us where we could and couldn't be at based off of that map and based off the permit that they have for uh, city market. So since they wouldn't allow us in the city market to try to speak to people and inform people with uh, dialogue about what's going on, the only only uh, resort that we had left to us was to get people's attention with the sirens and with stopping traffic in the street. Where is the justice for the young man who was tagged while his hands were up and then was stuck on by police officers while tasers were still in his legs? The same tasers that stayed there for two hours. The same young man that walks with a limp a month later. What's the name of that upstanding officer? Uh, this was the week in which they canceled City Market. Uh, they put out a statement saying that uh, we were disruptive and aggressive. But once the police came and they started using these tactics and they started using this type of aggressiveness, they took away our ability and our power to make it be a peaceful protest. Nobody came and gave any order to disperse. Later on, the state's attorney spoke and said that an order to disperse was given. That is untrue. It was no order to disperse given, just like on the 30th, there was no order to disperse given. They just moved in and began arresting people because of the reason that people were out there and to try to use suppression, ta suppression tactics. Everything that you just seen, those people were all charged with felony mob action. Uh, and by the definition of felony mob action, it means that you use force and violence uh, in a group of two or more people. The only force and violence that was coming from any party was coming from the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department and the Rockford Police Department that was out there.
This is the Rockford Police Department. This is the Winnebago County Sheriff Department. Multiple of them have excessive force lawsuits in the past. They have beat people, tased people unlawfully. This Friday and the next Friday, and then every little, everything that they do, we gonna be there. They gonna have to give us something real for May 30th. They gonna have to capitulate to them demands for May 30th, or it won't be no peace around here. And I promise you, if you think that it's gonna always just be a small amount of people, no, as these things keep going, as these things keep snowballing, more and more people will wake up to the issues that's at hand, 